This short video for command line beginners describes two useful tools that would help out many people, especially scientists, if only they knew of their existence. Here's a common problem. You have an important data file that is plain text, but the file is so large that merely attempting to open it crashes your computer. It would be super useful to have a way to spit out the first or last few lines of a file and not open the entire thing. If you're working on a Unix-based system, such as a Mac, your computer already has two tools for doing so, head and tail. Let's try them out. Open up the terminal program. On a Mac, it can be found in the Applications folder under Utilities. On a Linux machine it can be found somewhere else. Search around for it. Here is my terminal with my prompt. Type head and then a space and then the path to the file you want to peek into. Hint 1. An easy way to enter the path is to just drag and drop the file into the terminal window. Hint 2. For more information on path see my previous video called Basic Unix Commands. Press return to enter the command. If you did it correctly, the first couple lines of the file will pop into the window. In this case, the default number of lines shown is 10. However, Say that I really want to see that 11th line, since all my important information is there. I can specify the number of lines shown using what's called the N flag. I'll type head, space, dash, N, space, 11, space, and then my file name, and press return. Now the first 11 lines of the file are shown. If you understand head, you'll understand tail. Tail is the Unix command that shows you the last couple lines of a file. This tail command, tail, dash, n, 3, and then the path to my file, displays the last three lines of my big file. So in review, head and tail are two really useful Unix commands. Head shows the first lines of a file and tail shows the last ones, and each can use the n flag to change the number of lines shown. I use head and tail every day in my research and programming, but even the less nerdy in the audience will benefit from these two tools. I hope you found this video helpful, and didn't mind the robot voice too much. More how-to clips are on their way.